A sad byproduct of the Middle East crisis, British and French citizens arriving from the British consulate in Portside for evacuation. These civilians, many of whom are of Maltese, Italian or Cypriot origin, have committed no crime against Egypt, even by NASA standards. But because they hold British or French passports, life has been made impossible for them in the land where many of them have lived for years and where some of them were born. They have no choice but to leave. In a portside alleyway, Lance Corporal Douglas Furness of Darley, Yorkshire, discovers an underground Egyptian printing press. Security units examine the press, which was producing an anti-British daily news sheet. Salvage work in the canal, well started by British and French experts, is being handed over to the United Nations. General Wheeler, UN salvage chief, inspects the progress made by the Allied crews and declares himself most impressed. Will British crews and salvage vessels continue to take part? Egypt has opposed the idea, but latest reports say a compromise may be reached. If so, experts believe it should be possible to clear and repair the canal within six or seven months. Meanwhile, at London airport, Sir Anthony Eden arrives back with Lady Eden from his Jamaican holiday, refreshed and ready to tackle the next stage of the crisis, which has placed such a heavy burden on him. He is met at the airport by Mr. R.A. Butler and members of the government, with whose decisions he has been constantly in touch. He declares, I am in agreement with each one of them. On the canal, he says, it must be cleared by all available means and without further delay, and its future must be settled quite permanently.